G'day guys, it's uh, Kev here from Kev's Collectibles. Hey look, it's been a long time since my last uh, video. It's been almost a year now I think. Um, but hey, it's it's time for another haul. Um, I picked up quite a few comics um, over the last year. And I guess uh, since it's recently been um, a Star Wars anniversary, um, I might as well show some uh, Star Wars comics I've picked up. So uh, here's the first one, Star Wars uh, number 1, um, 8.0 CGC. Um, uh, the one I've got here is Star Wars number 42, um, this is quite a popular comic at the moment, obviously with the popularity of the Mandalorian series, um, and obviously a lot of you have heard that, um, Timmy Morrison has been, um, announced to, um, play his role, or have some role in the Mandalorian series, so this book is really hotting up, um, the other um, importance of this book is that it's actually the first full appearance of Yoda as well, and I think um, Palpatine as well as the Emperor. Uh, so this is a, a really hot book, yeah. Um, next up I have Star Wars Tales number 7. This is quite a uh, hot spec book at the moment um, because it shows Boba Fett's, uh, the first appearance of Boba Fett's daughter, I think. Um, in this particular issue, it's um, a variant, and it shows a, a photograph of um, Boba Fett. And the other cool thing about this uh, particular issue is that it's um, uh, a new stand edition, um, which is shown by the barcode there. Um, if it's a direct edition, it will just say direct, I think. Um, at the bottom there where the barcode is. Um, another one I've picked up is, again, with the Boba Fett theme. Um, Star Wars Boba Fett Twin Engines of Destruction. Um, I forgot the name of the particular cover artist here, but his artwork is absolutely amazing. And I think there are three other comics that I'm chasing, uh, trying to find at the moment, to... Um, add to this collection, but the artwork is is so phenomenal. It's beautiful, um, and uh, so stoked. I've recently picked up um, a full run of the Clone Wars. So here's um, Clone Wars number twelve. Clone Wars 11. I think this run was from 2008. Clone Wars 10. Dooku there. Uh, Clone Wars 9. Uh, Clone Wars 8. With Ventress. Clone Wars 7. And I picked this up, actually, I think. Oh, here, here's um, Clone Wars 6 with um, Ahsoka Tano. And man, she's a very, very popular character. Um, obviously, with the uh, conclusion of the Clone Wars um, Disney Plus series. Um, and obviously Rebels, you can tell that she's going to have a major role, um, or Disney have major plans for her in the future, um, and I'll get to the, get to a little bit about that, um, later on when I show you a few more books. Um, Clone Wars number five, with v Dooku and, um, Ventress against Anakin there, um, Number four, number three, with Ahsoka again on the cover, number two, with another Ahsoka, and you guessed it, totally stoked to have this, and this book has been on fire at the moment. Clone Wars number one, 
um, first appearance of Ahsoka Tano. Um, it's also the, also the first appearance of um, Captain Rex as well, which also makes this book really popular. Um, but yeah, ever since uh, Rosario Dawson has been rumoured to um, appear on The Mandalorian, this book has just been going absolutely nuts. Um, the variant in particular has been going crazy as well. Um, there's only a thousand copies of that particular book. And um, I will do another video because I've actually recently picked up a 9.6 of that variant. Um, really excited, excited to have acquired that off the bay. Um, but yeah, I picked up this entire Clone Wars collection just recently. Um, and I think uh, converting into US dollars, it would have been around $160. And um, I mean, this particular copy, I think just having a look at it, it's only got, I think, one tick, color breaking tick on the spine. So it's probably a 9.4. It could do with a press potentially and maybe push it to a 9.6. I'm not sure, but I would say safely it would be a 9.4. So it's a really high grade, really nice copy. Um, but yeah, man, if Rosario Dawson, um, well, there's been a few in, uh, interviews with her and she's actually hinted very strongly, it's pretty obvious, that she has been hired um, for her role in The Mandalorian and apparently um, rumoured to have an actual uh, live uh, solo, her own series on Disney+. Plus. If that happens, this book is even going to go even more nuts. So, um, yeah, really excited about this book. And, um, yeah, it's been talked a, a lot um, recently on um, CSBI. Um, so I suggest you go onto their um, YouTube website. I'll actually post a link. There's a cool Top 25 Star Wars um, YouTube video they did uh, not long ago. So I, I suggest you guys check that out. But that's my star wars collection um that i've picked up recently thanks for watching um like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and um hope everyone's safe um with the whole covid situation um me living here in new zealand things have really um improved there haven't been any new cases re recently but i know it's not so much the case overseas um so I really hope you guys are doing okay and your families are safe. So um, take care and until my next video, I'll catch you later. Bye.